On the 2nd of September 2008, in a valley in eastern Afghanistan, Trooper Mark Donaldson made a split-second decision that would change his life. His display of extraordinary courage that day saw him awarded the Australian Victoria Cross for Gallantry, the ultimate symbol of heroism. The position I'm in now uh, in Perth over in the SAS is about teaching all the new guys how to do things. Not only how to do things, but why they do it. I'm in a unique position where I get to instill in them the behaviours that they do day to day. Hopefully those behaviours that we instill in them day to day, heaven forbid in the future if they ever find themselves in a combat situation, that's going to save their lives. I think one of the most inspiring things about Corporal Mark Donaldson's speech tonight was his emphasis on the importance of training and preparation and the way in which you need to have the confidence to be able to do it and to go the extra mile in terms of preparation through all the hard work so that when it comes to being under fire, literally, in the case of Mark, you're able to produce results, the right results, that are right for your team and right for the, uh, right for the situation. I look at this in two ways. I can train them for certainty. I can train them for certainty that they know they'll be able to do something. I can train them so they say, I can do this, and they have confidence in their skills and their abilities, and they have confidence in whatever situation they go into because they've got a fallback plan. You know, they know they can do those things. But also what we try and do is educate them. And, and I like to say to them, I'm educating you for uncertainty. I'm educating you for those times when you're not going to know what's happening. I'm educating you for those times when you come up with a problem right, and you can, you can counter that with a novel solution. Preparing your team for any eventuality and uh, preparing for certainty and training for uncertainty and I think that's the key. Uh, although I'm sure his circumstances are so vastly different from what we see in corporate Australia, uh, his message was pretty clear. All that training, all that preparation, it gives people a toolkit, I think, for use in life and in their work. Well, the earlier we can instill in people to think more broadly through education, education of what you can and can't do, education of what does and doesn't work. If you can do that, then they're going to be much, you know, they're going to be better set up, you know, for the future, uh, and it's just going to grow exponentially. What it is is instilling, you know, or breeding within your organisation what you need it to be, right? and that's a long process, pretty hard to change, but it is. It's from ground up reading what you want that organisation to be in 10, 15 years, even if you're not going to be there. What I really like about Mark's message is it is fundamentally about service. It is fundamentally about what you're doing for others and for the enduring legacy that you leave behind in your organisation. They're great messages, I think, for emerging leaders.